Um, I love it when, when your barista, your personal barista, like Vujani here, uh, says, what, what coffee would you like? That is music to my ears. I want to wake up to this every single day. I will start just with like a flat white. Um, something along those lines would be great for me, but hey, uh, in the hands of an artist, I would leave it up to you. Um, so you can, you can make a start on that coffee. Um, and I, I'm quite interested to kind of get a barista's take a little bit earlier. We heard that Hope and Klebe um, mentioned that she loves adding honey and a sprinkle of cinnamon to her cappuccino. So I'm curious to see how that tastes. So maybe we can do a little bit of that as well. Yes, absolutely. And you know, everyone is allowed to have their coffee how they like it. You can have your honey, you can have your cinnamon, you can sprinkle cocoa powder if you want. I like you that. Can, add can you say that again, Buyani? Say it again. Ah, Everyone sir. is allowed Loud to have their coffee how they like it. I love you can that. Have man. it with honey. <laughs> Add cinnamon or you add cocoa powder. Um, I love it, man. Well, I'm going to try Hope's, Hope's rendition. So you can get cracking there. Um, okay. And as you make this coffee, and I, I love the fact that you guys obviously are, have to go through quite a rigorous training process to get to the point. But when you're working with coffee that tastes this good, uh, because this is a brilliant, brilliant blend, and I've spoken to so many people, what is it about this flavor profile that you think makes it so good? It's the balance of flavors, you know. You can taste the, the balance on the beans that we used and you can add your sugar just to make other flavors flourish. I like that. So you're not yeah. overshadowing, you're enhancing you're that enhancing flavor. enhancing that flavors. With I sugar. love that. And of course, it's not just when you say you can kind of have it your way, you don't even have to go the traditional route. There are other flavor variants. Take me through if someone wants to come and push the boat out a little bit and try something different. What other flavor variants do you have? You can have it with syrups. We have our own syrup that we recommend to our customers. We have salted caramel, we have hazelnut, Ooh. we have vanilla. So you can have your coffee customized. That is your coffee after all. I love so we that. can have it how you like it. You want it salted caramel, we do it to you. Want it with vanilla or you want it with hazelnut? I like that because then you can have a different favorite for every yes. day of the week. Um, I absolutely love what our coffee moments mean for us. You must love that feeling when you, because people come to you with a need, man. Yes, they come yes. to you with a desperation some mornings. What is that feeling like when you see a person get their cuppa, when they get their favorite cup, they take that first sip, the satisfaction that we get. How does that make you feel, man? That makes me feel very happy. You know, in the morning after the moms drop their kids at school, yeah. they come for their first cup of coffee. And that smile on their face when after the first sip, you can see that, but coffee first. Yeah, you understand? but coffee first, it's but a lifesaver. But coffee first. Um, so I, I've heard that a little bird has told me that one of our cameramen, Shauna, over there, who normally hides away. Uh, Shauna, you haven't had a coffee yet this morning. You haven't even had your union break yet, man. Um, what can we get for you, dude? Uh, Americano, uh, no more. Americano. Oh, no milk. Oh, is someone fasting no, again? Someone strong. He is. Look at those muscles, <laughs> man. Um, I love it. Americano. Now, um, when we say we like to, to come on air and say that we do all this hard work so early in the morning. It's nothing compared to what the guys behind the scenes have to go through to try to make us look sort of TV ready. So make it an extra strong one. Maybe throw it an extra little, a little bit of love there. Um, when choosing the coffee that works for you, do you find people kind of approach it differently at different times of the day? Do people want that kick early in the morning and then maybe something a bit softer later in the day? How do we kind of change our coffee habits as we go? Yes, you, you get people that in the morning they will go for something stronger. They go for some they go for espresso like me, purist. Some they will go for flat white like you. And during the day maybe they want latte, something a little bit lighter, something a little bit sweeter. So, I like that. See, I'm the yes. opposite. I'll start going like I'll go cappuccino, then I'll go flat white, then I'll go cortado, and then I'll go probably to espresso. Uh, strong man. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with the territory. Well, you can finish wrapping up Shauno's coffee. Sean, don't worry, I will get that coffee <laughs> to you. Uh, with these delicious sips, everyone, in fact, we are ready to take on the day. And here's to discovering new ways to enjoy our favorite blend. So I'm going to say it to you, and I'm going to say it to Bujani, cheers. And on that note, another three lucky viewers. Stay 
stand the chance of winning yourselves an engine voucher to the value of two and a half thousand rand. And that's happening every week to enter. Simply reply to the competition post on our, that's the Expresso Facebook or X pages, sharing your favorite Brasmata coffee moment with a photo. Please include your barista and include hashtag Brasmata and hashtag your day gets better in your answer. And that competition closes at midday. That's this coming Monday, the 4th of November. But you can see all the T's and C's that apply on Expresso Show. Um, I think Sean deserves that coffee, so you can wrap that up and make sure that you start with coffee first. Coffee first. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Mm. Oh, I'm loving it. A little bit of cinnamon is great. I'm not a big fan of the sweetness. So for me, the coffee must have kind of a sweet note, um, but it mustn't be too much. I think in essence, what I'm tasting is just the coffee being given its space and time to do what it does best. But I love the fact, and this has been proclaimed on live TV, you can have your coffee the way you like it. Don't be bullied by your barista. You can have it however you do. And I think I'm going to be back for another one of these. I love you, man. I Thank love you, man. you guys. <laughs> mm.